Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm testing the Callaway and Odyssey triple track alignment system, which promises that I can align my putter better and hold more putts. If you look at the tour statistics, you'll actually see that putting is difficult. The only distance where even a tour professional is consistent is under three feet. And the further away they get away from the hole, the less consistent they become, and sometimes drastically. So any help the industry can give us has got to be welcomed. Last year, Callaway started painting stripes on the golf balls, the so-called triple track. Uh, a red and two blue stripes and this year Odyssey have actually extended that into a putter lineup, the triple track. And today I'd like to actually test whether that actually helps me to align better and if this helping me to align better it actually helps me to hold more putts. What I know for sure is that just one degree open club face means you're missing a 13 foot putt. If the club face is open two degrees you're missing a six foot putt and if it's open three degrees, you're missing a three foot putt. So better alignment has definitely got to lead to less putts. Now, I'm going to do a pretty simple test. I'm gonna attach a laser both to my Toulon putter and also to the triple trap putter and simply see whether I am aligning the club better with the help of the ball and the triple trap putter than I would do with a normal ball and my normal putter. Now I'm not actually going to hit putts to start off with, I'm simply going to align myself three or four times to the ball. The reason I'm also not going to do too many is that you tend to react to the feedback. I'll be able to see if I'm aligning correctly and consciously or unconsciously I will change my alignment. So it's going to be kind of a blind test. Go up, address the ball three or four times with my own putter and my own normal ball without triple track. Then I'll try it with my own putter but with a triple track ball and finally I'll try it with triple track ball and triple track putter and see whether we can see any differences. So I'm now going to hit a number of four feet putts using a normal ball which does actually have a, an arrow on it. Uh, which is from the manufacturer and a normal Toulon bladed putter. Now I've been using this for around about three years and I love it. Um, and I put quite well with it. And I want to see really using the laser here uh, whether I'm actually aimed correctly. And that's actually a bit left of target. Um, if I'm around about, I worked out 1.65 centimeters left, that equates to about a degree. And obviously 1.65 centimeters right would be the same. But what I'm seeing here is I'm aiming left of target. The ball is correctly aligned. I can see that. The putter seems to be correctly aligned. And I'm aiming left of target every time. Now you'll be able to see in the video better than I can how far I'm left. Goodness me. So what that basically means is that 
I've been addressing the ball aim slightly left and then my swing, my putting swing is obviously leaving the club face open, probably using the inertia of the club and just not letting the club face close. And that way I've still been able to putt straight, which obviously begs the question, if I start aiming correctly, am I gonna start missing to the right? That wouldn't be nice, would it? Uh, I'm now gonna change over and put the normal ball to the side and we'll take a triple trap ball Again, making sure that that's perfectly aligned. So I have the advantage. I must admit that looking at these three lines on the ball does kind of give me a little bit more confidence whether it'll actually make me align better. I don't know, but we will see. I do have the feeling. So yeah, you, I'm, you know, it's like getting three much as three times the amount of feedback. Either. That's better, but it's still left of target. That was not bad, still left of target, but that was that was definitely better than it was with the normal ball. Similarly, it's still left though. Oh, come on. Well, that's still left. It's it's not bad, but it's it's left of target. So I'm now going to swap over and put it onto the triple track. Um, there's a lot of different shapes and sizes of putters, and obviously I could get a blade one here. This is the number 10, I believe they call it, um, which looks remarkably like another manufacturer's putter, which is very popular. Um, but it's got a long triple track on the top of it, a long line. So it should be quite easy to align. Bear with me. I shall speed this up on the actual video for you. But now we're going to go through exactly the same routine as before. Well, it's straight away when you look down at this, this kind of fills you full of confidence. That really does look like I can see an extension of line to the target. Let's see where we are. Goodness me, right in the middle. Let's uh, go again. Honestly, I'm taking lots of time, but you do get this extension really well, and that's right in the middle again. Not bad, that's just a bit left of middle. But I mean, I can say immediately that this is better than I was able to align with either of the other alternatives. Wow, that's a lot better. Um, right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to the, the first thing and see whether it's still the same, whether my eyes maybe have adjusted um, to the ball and to the, the putter. So we're gonna go back to the Toulon and a normal ball. This looks perfect. Good God. Excuse me. That 
that's incredible. Incredible, not just that the, not just that the putter has helped me, but how poorly I align. All the same. Well, that was uh, pretty conclusive evidence, I would say. Triple track works. Hello, well, that should give me some food for thought, shouldn't it? I was quite surprised how far left I was aiming, and obviously that would explain why I'm a little bit of a street putter. You know, some days I get a really good kind of roll on the golf ball, and sometimes I do tend to miss it, although. I'll miss it usually on the right side, which is explained by aiming left and overcompensating, overcompensating during the putt movement. Um, this seems to work from 1.75 to 0 0.5 degrees is a big change. Um, and it didn't seem like a big change. I was just as convinced that I was aiming straight with my own putter as I was with the triple track. Um, but it will mean a change in my stroke, not necessarily a conscious one either. I'm sure that by trial and error, my brain will see the balls going right and it ought to square up the club face. Uh, but starting aiming at the hole has got to be an advantage, hasn't it? As ever, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to us yet, then please do so. The little bell will give you notifications the next time we post a video. Look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Till then, bye-bye.